letting the water boil. Uh, you know, I consider myself a relatively patient person with some intention behind that. I've been working on patience for a while. Uh, yet still, as I continue to grow and understand who I am and who I prefer to be and the life that I'm creating, uh, I cannot overestimate how powerful and important patience is and that I really am not as patient as I'd like to be. The reason I'm bringing it up today is so many people, including myself, believe they're patient and then they're not. So meaning we want things to be different, we know we're creating a future, we know we're taking action, but at the same time we still show up with stress, we still show up with anger, we still show up with disappointment because things are not as we want them to be immediately. And the analogy that came to me today was that of boiling water. Water takes a certain amount of time to boil. It's a fact. It is done through science. It has to do with temperature of the water. It has to do with you know, the, the size of the flame underneath the pot. Um, and so if your child came to you and said, hey, dad, mom, I wanna boil some water. Uh, and you said, great, put it in the, on the pan. I'm sorry, put it in a pot, put it on the stove and we'll boil it. Now, if they went to that, if they followed those directions, put it on, turned on the flame, even if they put it on high, and then three seconds later, like, is it boiled? Uh, you'd be like, no. And they'd be like, well, why not? I did what you told me to do. And you'd say, well, you have to wait. Well, what am I waiting for? Waiting for the science of life to occur. That's what you're waiting for. And so when we put things out there into life, we put things out there into the universe, we decide who we want to be, we take action on it. There is stuff going on that we don't see. There are the, sci the science of the universe is taking place. Be patient, know that it will occur. Now, by the way, if you take it off the stove immediately, it's never gonna happen. So if you're not patient and you give up and you decide not to continue to take action, continue to have thoughts that focus you on who you want to be, that's like taking your boiled water off the stove. So keep your pot of water on the stove. Stay focused and know that it will eventually. Sometimes you just see a couple little, couple little bubbles pop up and it's not completely boiled yet, but they're there. Be patient and look for those. Now, many people say, well, why can't I just microwave it then? And you know what? You can. You can microwave it and it will happen faster. It's a different type of science. And so I would say into that same point, if that's you, if you want it done sooner, then focus your thoughts more frequently. Take more actions frequently. Spend your downtime. Instead of watching TV or doing nothing or surfing the internet or, you know, spending time that isn't serving your purpose, change that. The microwave is spending as much time as you can focused on who you want to be and taking action on those things as often as possible. Not only do, do things then appear in your life sooner and more frequently, but you start to live a life that reminds you that you're on purpose. And you start to see other things that you hadn't seen before. You start to surround yourself with other people or people get drawn into your life who you hadn't thought um, of before or you wouldn't have chosen to surround yourself with before. But when you focus on who you want to be, the science of life, the science of the universe starts to take place. Things happen, be aware of it, be patient, put the flame on high, stick it in the microwave, whatever you need to do, but be patient. Enjoy the process and know that it's occurring. And the only way it stops occurring is when you stop, either when you take it off the flame or take it out of the microwave too soon.